Hi Danny. Um, this is the Glitz photo video thing I'm going to be playing for you. And let's just get right into it. And remember that if you have any questions, just ask. So let's just zoom in on this photo. First thing we're going to do is we're going to go to filter, then liquify. This way you can edit out any of her imperfections, flaws, and I don't really like the lips, so I'm just gonna kind of, it's kind of like liposuction. Make her smile. Same with this side, you can't just have one side like that and the other one not. I'm just gonna play around with it so you like it. And then also you can edit out her eyebrows because they kind of are a little bushy. And this isn't really a client's photo, it's just a photo that I found on Google. If you want to ever practice a photo before doing any of your daughter's or anyone else's, then that's probably a good idea. So yeah, just make it how you want it to be. This part is really helpful with making all your corrections, looking at the flaws, and you know. And they're not perfect, but um, we're not done. So just there's a new one. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my blemishes, and to do that, I'm gonna click this, and I'm gonna get the spot healing brush tool. I'm gonna zoom in on her face. Gonna halt. Alt, click, continue, click that, and as you can see, it's not really that great. So what I usually like to do is, instead of the spot healing brush tool, I use the regular healing brush tool, and you alt, click, drag it, and that's that. No more blemish. I also do the same thing with the wrinkles, just click a nearby part. And drag it. That obviously was a fail. But we can get rid of her wrinkles by doing the correct or And I'm not gonna do that all the way around, but Okay. The first thing we're going to do is really focus on her eyes. And I'm not talking about makeup yet, I'm just talking about her eyes, like right here inside the eye. And it's a very pretty green, but most people would probably want it to pop more, so we're going to click the dodge tool. But if you want to hear, it's this black one. And we're going to make sure it's at 100% opacity, mid tone, and so it can fit the whole eye. And as you can see, I just kind of add more emphasis to the eyes. Now when we zoom out, you can the eyes are more pop, they look visible, clear, anything. Now I'm going to make sure I have black paint. Let's go to my paintbrush, make sure the opacity is about 71, and the flow is about 68. And then, I'm going to make sure that it's about the same size as my pupil. I'm just going to color that people in so it's completely black. I know it does not look right. That's because we haven't added the highlights. Add the highlights, you're going to get the white. You're going to make the opacity about 45. The flow, 50. I'd even... Uh, 58 would be good, actually. And 
make it about three. I'm just gonna go over the odd and another line. Most girls usually have about two, so make sure you have two. Doesn't really matter, but I might probably make this one bigger. If you're gonna do a bottom and a top one, I make the bottom one bigger. Another little part to it. You know, I feel like it's a little too glossy, but just fix it until you like what you see. I'm sorry about my perfectionism, I'm just trying to make this the way so it looks good. <sighs> then, hold on. We actually don't want him to be that big. Um, yeah. I feel like it looks better this way. So there's a little highlight. And obviously they're not the best. I am rushing. I'm trying to. I'm trying to make it look good. But um, I kind of just want to get this video done so I can present it to you. And there's the eyes. But we're not done with the eyes yet. What many people do is they do the black, get about a two inch brush, they go around and highlight. That's not really highlighting, it's dodging the areas around the people like that. Oh, and I totally forgot to make a new layer, but I haven't messed up yet, so that's good. I'm going to make a new layer now. I'm going to go to white. Make the opacity about 41 or 40. And keep the flow at 50. And I'm just going to click about 5 or 4 or 3. 3 is probably best. I'm going to go around her eye and color it and make it white. You don't, in a glitz photo, you don't see the pink in the eye. You just see the pretty white color, and that's what you want. Obviously, the eye does not look perfect yet, but that's because we're not finished. But it does look a lot more glitz if you look at this this eye compared to this eye. Just going to do this one, too. And I did mess up a little bit, but since I made a new layer, I can just click the eraser tool and just make it a little smaller and erase what I don't like that I did. There we go. 
known to be a Nazi but yet, but there's a reaction for And we're gonna stop there with the eye. Um, next we're gonna do with the background, we're gonna make a new background. So it's gonna be layer two. Then we're gonna click a very tan place around her. Make sure you're on the paintbrush and you click Alt. Hold down Alt on your, first, your keyboard and click Shift. I'd probably do a little lighter than that. And then, and then we're gonna go to this part. Click that airbrush, soft round, 50% buff. Then I'm gonna make the epoxy that's 40. It would be good. And I'm gonna keep it this size, and I'm just gonna go around her whole face and cover up her whole face with this color. And make sure you don't let go of the mouse or whatever the control pad on your laptop if that's what you have, because then it will not look good. Just hold it down, keep it hold down until you're done. And it's okay to mess up because we have a new layer and we can just erase like we did with the. You know what I mean? So as you can see, that looks very good so far. But now we have to erase the imperfections that we accidentally made. And I made a lot. Just because I'm kind of rushing. And if I get some on the eyes, which I most definitely did, so I'm just going to make a check for eyeshadow. So there's that. The next the kind of cartoon look that everyone wants. But as you can see the blemish is now gone. But now that you've done the face, you must do the whole rest of the body. So yeah, we're going to take a quick break. I had to make the video into sections, so if you want to go this far, good, and see you then.